Well, being the leading marksman in the league, he's the man everyone is talking about as he warms up. Can he score again today? We're about to find out. And this is the scene here in Lancashire at Turf Moor in Burnley. A warm welcome on a beautiful day. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Burnley facing Everton. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. And this is the initial 11 for Burnley. The goalkeeper of choice is Joe Hart. Ben Mee plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Sigurdsson. Keen. It's with Sandro. I think everyone knew that was foul play and the referee left with little choice but to award the free kick he's now got to be extra careful a verbal warning rather than a caution here yeah the next one he knows where he's going in the book Yeri Mina Luka Dinia. well you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner but this man might be a decent shout Lee what are you expecting from him well, four goals in his last three games. He's in superb form. He's going to be really hard to stop. The defenders need to be on their game. CD Bay. Shot attempted. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. And over comes the corner. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, for Everton, not the best of experiences last time out when they lost against Manchester City. How do you see this game going, Lee? Well, they got a bit of a hammering, to be honest, Derek, 4-1. But surely that extra work on the track... It has to be! Well, you know, I don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort. Well, he won't want to watch that on the replay, I tell you. He was way, way wide there. Promising looking ball. Bolassi. He's in with a chance. Can they put it away? Here's drink water. Well, they've simply got to play better. They can't keep conceding chances at the back. They've dodged another one. The crowd are letting them know about it as well, urging them on to try and improve themselves. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Excellent ball over the top. Bonassi. Can he give them the lead? A one-on-one -on -one situation, and the goalkeeper prevails in the duel. Advantage is always with the attacking player, because he's got the ball. You've got to take the ball off him. He does a brilliant job on that occasion. And Sandro has it. Well, they must exercise caution, standing off as they are. Can he take advantage? Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. Well, I thought that was the lead right there, but no, so, so close. Playing with purpose and control. It needs an accurate cross. Just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. And clears his lines. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And a goal to tell you about at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. 25 minutes played. 1-0. Regular updates from Alan. Delightful pass. Has teammates waiting inside the area. Foiling them effectively. It's with Sandro. This might have potential. They've regained possession. Smuggled away.
Ward Prowse making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Competent goalkeeping. Yeah, right place at the right time. Foils the attacker. And Sigurdsson with it. Astore. Keeper did his job to begin with. A sloppy pass. Wood. Tremendous ball played through. Well, the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Sigurdsson. And it's with Sidibe. He's found a pocket of space. McNeil. Danny Drinkwater. And news of a goal in the match being played at Stamford Bridge. Let's get that news from Alan. It's the second goal for Chelsea. 39 minutes played. 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Peters. Westwood. Drinkwater. McNeil. It's there for him. A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. So the corner played into the box. Goalkeeping of the very highest order. Oh, it was a great shot as well. Great shot, great save. And over comes the corner. Well, sadly, from his point of view, wayward to say the least. Well, it's a shocker. I wasn't very good at heading, Derek, but I could have done better than that. Phil Bardsley. Drink water. It's with Sandro. The, the electronic board has been real chance. Can't miss, surely. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half time. The team talk of both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. So back playing once more, and it's Everton with the lead. McNeil. And the whistle is sounded for CD Bay. Shot at. Really tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Bolassi, space on the flank. It's a cross towards the near post, and easy meet for the keeper given that cross. I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. I believe there's been a goal in the Crystal Palace match. Let's hear about that from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 51 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse. It is to be a throw-in. Promising sequence. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Danny Drinkwater. 
Difficult shot to take on. Routine save for the keeper. Yeah, it's the distance. Look how far out he is. Easy, easy save in the end. Barnsley. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Hendrick. Barnes. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. And he's broken free. Well, this man will get most wonderful chance. And the goal is his. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, let's see that again. Once he gets into his stride, he just strolls past players. What a lovely solo, wonderful effort this is. So 2-0 now. I believe there's been a goal in the Spurs game. Alan McAnally can fill us in. It's a second goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Hung Min Son. He was in the right place at the right time to steer home a deflected pass. 60 minutes played, 2-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. A move of promise on the flank. It's there for him. Now just couldn't keep himself onside. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, he thought he'd done everything right. He really did, but not to be. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Burnley taking on Leicester City. Yeah, game after game, the season is relentless, but players just love to play. Give them a game any day of the week. That should be a belter. Bolassi. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Everton facing West Ham United. Yeah, the fix is coming thick and fast. Should be a good game, that. Well, hopefully that's not the commentator's curse. Well, Prowse, wonderful block. And the danger cleared. Getting news of a goal on the Chelsea game. Alan? It's a third goal. Useful looking ball. Chance to reduce the arrears. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. So a throw in here. And a substitution in the offing. McNeil. Space and time for the cross. And a goal! Not over just yet. Well, we're going to see that again, and let's see the cross again. It's absolutely brilliant. Good power on it, and then watch this headed goal. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. So there we have it, 2-1. Apologies to Alan McAnally for having to cut him off. Just to clarify, Chelsea did find the net in that game. And they're on top currently, 3-1. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Jack Cork now. Jeff Hendrick. Cork. Dangerous looking through ball. Barnes. And Chris Wood. Barnsley. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Hendrick. And Barnsley on the ball. And delivered towards the back post. Westwood. Jack Cork now. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. 
Oh, that's an interesting pass. And they could do damage. The net is steering him in the face. Can they slot it home? It will be. Keane. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. And on the ball, Keane. It will be now. Moving forward effectively. It's been aimed towards the front post. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And on the ball, Keane. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Cleared away, comprehensive. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. CDB. They could pick out a teammate. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Delivered into the box. Well, he was being very closely marked, but the header not on the target. No, just off target, and the thing is, the defender did his job, and he just couldn't quite get enough of his head on it. Just listen to the crowd, Derek, urging their team on. Surely they'll get another chance. The last 15 minutes, Everton have dominated possession, Derek. Their play warrants another goal for me, and that will be it. The game will be over. This looks promising. Well, couldn't keep it. The referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. The possession lost, intercepted. Wonderful block. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent the last chance to grab an equaliser. Over it comes. And there goes the final whistle. Some questions regarding the match? Thank you. 